We've hit an all new era in entertainment where it seems like there's activists out there who are always claiming that they want to see themselves in comic books, video games, movies, TV series, whatever it may be, despite the fact that no one else wants to see them. Well, we have yet another case of a so-called celebrity deciding to team up with somebody to do a comic book because they really wanted to see themselves. And unfortunately for the world, that person is Whoopi Goldberg. Dark Horse to publish Whoopi Goldberg graphic novel about a menopausal superhero. I think they're called The Change. Maybe you should have changed it to The Cringe. That might be a more uh, effective and accurate title for this comic book. But here we go. Whoopi Goldberg teamed with Dark Horse Comics to produce another mainstream comic targeted at the wine aunt demographic. As the comic book industry continues its death spiral with identity politics, someone at Dark Horse thought it'd be a good idea to virtue signal to overweight middle-aged women. The superhero graphic novel, The Change, features a self-insert character of Whoopi Goldberg, whose powers get triggered by bodily or by body fluctuations in menopause. The book is billed as a serious book and not a parody with a heroic Whoopi portrayed on the cover with blue and purple energy rising from her hand like a flame. Here's the press release. Because of her lifelong love for comic books, I'm sure Whoopi Goldberg, and she, she's always talking about comic books, right? Goldberg decided it was time to create a new kind of superhero, one who might be a little older, whose body might be a little thicker, and whose breasts may or may not be the same size. She's always smack in the middle of menopause, which, along with chills and hot flashes, gave her some unexpected superpowers. The iconic actor, producer, and author matched wits and minds with Jamie Paglia, someone just as outside the box as I am. And thus, the change was born. Isabel Frost is a woman who spent her life as a wife, mother, grandmother, a life she feels isn't all she hoped for, with a husband who's grown in another direction. A college graduate with a degree in science, Isabel is an amazing gamer who plays with people <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to get through this without laughing, man. An amazing gamer who plays with people all over the country. With the help of her comic-loving grandson and irreverent best friend, she must learn to control her abilities and embrace her new identity as the change, both the change of life and her surprising and extraordinary superpowers. And then here it is. I will say this, Whoopi, if you wanted to see yourself in a comic book, you should have actually made yourself as fat as you are in real life. Well, what's the reason to make this character be a representation of you if you're actually not going to let them be as fat as you are in real life? This is maybe just your idealized version of yourself potentially, but people are so sick and tired of this stuff because guess what? This comic book is only made for Whoopi Goldberg. It is for her. No one's going to buy this shit. The same way we've seen with other people who've come in to do stuff like this before in the past, this is for no one other than her own ego. People don't want to see middle-aged, overweight women as superheroes. Shockingly enough, I don't think that that's the template you should be following. Uh, but the change looks like it is going to be one of the most cringe things we've seen in comics in quite some time. And that, my friends, with the current state of mainstream comics, is saying something.